Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Lock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to talk about class 6 mathematics today, chapter 3 negative numbers and integers. So, what does this chapter say negative numbers and integers? First of all, we will begin with whatever we have learned so far. So, we have learned about two number systems that is whole numbers, right? Whole numbers that begin from 0, 1, 2, and so on, right? Whole numbers and the second one is what natural numbers what are the natural numbers the natural numbers we've seen they begin from 1 2 3 and so on they don't have any end right now if I give you some situations and I ask you to find the answer will you be able to do that let's say if we have to subtract a bigger number from a smaller number so let's subtract 9 from 3 3 minus 9 can you find it no. Why? Because you are not aware of the integer system. I will come to that. See, we know this is the C level and anything above this is represented with positive. What about anything below this? We don't, you don't know if we have to represent any level below this, what, how will you do that? Right. Or if you have to calculate whatever is your profit, so profit you will calculate or loss, right. Or if you have to calculate the amount in your bank. So for all these situations, we need negative numbers. And negative numbers are basically the numbers that are represented with a minus sign in their end. So if this is plus 10, then here minus 10. Okay. If profit is plus 10, uh, plus 100, let's say rupees, then loss will be minus 100. Just an example. Don't take it seriously. Here 3 minus 9. Right, we'll come to this all. So for solving all of this, you require negative numbers, which are part of the integer system. And integer system includes positive numbers. These you have studied, natural numbers, one, two, three, all of these, they're positive numbers. Then zero, that's in the whole number. And then the negative numbers, which are specially added in the integer system. Let's see how do we represent that on the number line. So let's say, Till now we have done it this way, right? Or uh, maybe let me make it a little shorter. That would be better. Okay. So this much you have done so far. From here was zero. Then you've had one, two, three, and so on. Right? This is your line, number line. But in integer system, this will change. And this will go towards the left of zero. And you will have minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. Both of these sides are similar. The numbers coming are same. Only thing that will change are the signs. All the numbers that are to the right of zero are positive and all the numbers that are to the left of zero are negative as you can see. And also one more thing, smallest positive integer is one and greatest negative integer is minus one, right? And zero is not neither positive nor negative. Now we will see uh, how am I able to compare? Like I told you that we have greatest positive, uh, greatest negative number and the smallest positive number. So how am I able to compare these? How am I able to tell you that that number is the greatest and this is the smallest? We will see that. Now suppose uh, uh, first of all take a look at these numbers. What similarity do you notice? in the values 1 1 2 2 3 3 what's the difference the signs so remember that any two numbers let's take minus 3 and plus 3 so these two numbers are having the same absolute value what's the absolute value the number without the sign so minus 3 without this 3 like that so two same numbers on opposite side of 0 with different signs are called opposites, right? So 3 and minus 3 are called what? Opposites, right? Now, see, I was coming to comparing the integers. So how do we compare them? Let's take these two. Oh, okay. Or let's take any other number. I'll make a new number line here. Don't worry. So uh, this will be 0. So I'll have here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Okay. And here I'll have 1, two, three, four, five. Let's extend this a bit, right? So you see here, I ask you to tell me which number is greater, five or three. So you will easily tell me five. 
But if I ask you which number is greater 5 or let's say minus 2, then you will see this thing that I told you all the numbers to the right of 0 are greater than 0 and are positive. All the numbers to the left of 0 are negative and uh, less than 0. So 5 is to the right of minus 2, right? Minus 2 is the left is to the left of 5. So whichever number is to the right of our number is greater than that. Okay, not only for 0, but this applies for all the numbers. So if I go from minus 2, minus 1 will be greater than minus 2, 0 will be greater than minus 2, 1 will be greater than minus 2, and so on. Even 5 will be greater than minus 2. Okay, so minus 2 is what? Less than 5. Now, if I ask you to compare two more numbers, I'll give you minus 3, minus 1, right? So you have minus 3, you have got minus 1 and now compare which is greater, which is smaller. So if you look easily here, what we have learned so far in whole numbers and natural numbers that the greater number has the more value, right? But here the greater number will have less value than the smaller one in negative numbers. If I have given you 3 and 1, then what you will say 3 is greater than 1. But if I have minus 3 minus 1, it will become the opposite. Minus 1 is greater than minus 3. Clear? So this is what will happen. The number with the sh uh, this uh, shorter number, okay, the, the smaller number has more value than the greater number. So this way we compare negative integers. And remember, all positive integers are greater than negative integers. Okay, and 0 is greater than all negative integers but smaller than all positive integers. Now, let's move on to the next part. Now, let's move on to the next topic that's addition of integers. So, we have just now understood what are integers and now we will move on to adding them, right? So, it's a little different from addition of normal numbers, whole numbers and uh, your natural numbers. What's the difference? See, in adding integers, we can have two cases. What are the two cases? when you have to add a positive integer and when you have to add a negative integer okay irrespective of whatever number is before that in whatever you are adding we don't look at that but we look at what we are adding if it is positive then what we do and if it is negative then what we do so when adding a positive integer right so what will we do positive i am writing plus and then ive positive integer so we move to the right on the number line. We are right now doing what? Addition of integers on number line. So I'll make a number line here like this, right? This is my zero. This is minus one. This is minus two, minus three, minus four. Here we've got the positive numbers, positive integers, I should say, right? Right, this much should be fine. Now see, uh, when we are adding any positive integer in any number, in any integer, what we are supposed to do on the number line, we will move to the right of that number. Let me give you one number. So I take, let's say, plus uh, one. Okay, plus one. Plus one is where here, right? In this, I'm going to add what? A positive integer. So let's add plus two. Okay, I'm making it very clear with the bracket so that there is no confusion Add, uh, addition sign plus and within bracket there is a positive integer that means we are adding a positive integer. So this is plus one here and I said that we will move where to the right. So move how many places how many numbers two numbers to the right plus two it is so you move two numbers from one to two to three. What's your answer plus three right this is plus 3. Now the next case is when adding a negative integer in any number, right? When adding a negative integer. So what are we supposed to do? Right. So very simple. Let's take again the same example plus 1 plus that because we are adding and here I will do minus 2. Only thing I change is the integer inside. So this is going to give you what? C. This is, uh, uh, let's, let me make a new one here, right? So this is my 0, 1, 2, 3, 
minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 see this is 1 right and when we are adding a positive negative integer then what do we do we move to the left okay move to the left of our number first number is plus 1 we move to the left of it how many numbers two numbers where do you land minus 1 so this is minus 1 right this is what is addition of your integers right i'll give you one more example now what i'll change i'll do here minus 1 clear and in this minus 1 i'll be adding what plus 2 just to check how it's done let me show you so this is going to be the same thing very same thing you make the number line right you have 0 here 1 2 and 3 right there then you've got minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 here you land here on minus 1 and you are adding a positive integer so where do you move to the right so you move to the right and you've got 1 2 so you've got what plus 1 okay so this is equal to plus 1 okay and when let's me uh, let me give you this is all the examples that we are able to do in adding integers on the number line whenever we are adding any positive integer we move to the right whenever we are adding a negative integer we move to the left but the next thing is what about addition without number lines do we have to make number lines whenever we are doing addition of integers no it's not required this is just to show you easily how it's done but most of the times most of the times we will not make this number line we have to do this mentally and how do we do that let me give you another example now so i have plus two plus and then plus three here solve this without using number line how do you do that for that we have a few set of rules what's the what are the rules right what are my rules see uh, first of all we have to add two like integers two like integers means integers with the same sign so adding two like integers what are you supposed to do when you are adding two like integers you can see plus two plus three what do you do add their absolute value and put the sign put the common sign right whatever sign is between the two numbers you put that down don't just do anything add their absolute value means just add the numbers don't look at the sign you see 2, you see 3, add them. You have get 5. So 5. Put the common sign plus 5. Right. Let me give you one more example. Let's do with negative. We have minus 1 plus we have minus 3. Again, look at their absolute value without the sign. So absolute value is the value without their sign. So you have 1 and 3. So add them. 4. And common sign is minus. So minus. Right. So just add them and then put whatever sign is there for the two numbers since they are like they'll have the same sign now when we are adding two unlike integers then what do we do right two unlike integers so this is also quite simple itself don't get confused right what do we do let's take another example let me change the signs we have got minus two we have got plus then plus 3 so how do you add this that's the question so very simple subtract subtract their absolute value right and put the sign of the greater number okay so put the sign of the greater number greater number uh, whichever is there you put that sign down so subtract 3 2 right so 3 minus 2 that is 1 put the sign of the greater number plus 3 so here plus 1 right this is very simple if i take let's say plus 4 plus minus 2 again find their difference they are unlike terms so you get 2 plus minus which is greater 4 so it has plus so plus 2 that is it about addition let's move on to the next part now the next one is subtraction of integers right so this is also as simple as it is just a few complicated things subtraction of integers how do we do this 
see right so let's take two numbers i'll take minus five and i'll take uh, plus one so let's put them in brackets and put minus sign in between because we are subtracting how to do this on the number line it's very simple there's nothing that complicated we'll begin this is zero one two three four then this is minus one minus two minus three minus four and uh, further on this is minus 5 so see now what's the thing important here you need to look not at minus 5 you need to look at plus 1 plus 1 is here second number my now subtraction means always going to the left on the number line okay always or always subtractions means this so don't look at anything from minus 1 then you have minus 5 here so how many steps will it take to go till minus 5? Right. That's what we need to count. Okay. Uh, so see, this is going to be what? So this will be uh, count. So you've, how many numbers you've taken? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So total 6. So this is equal to what? 6. And how many sign? Uh, what, uh, what sign do you put here? Right. So always you see minus 5 and then minus and then plus 1 so you can see minus and plus that's going to be minus always and remember whenever the sign outside this bracket is minus inside sign will change plus changes to minus minus 5 minus 1 so sign is same put the same sign minus 6 i'll tell you how okay so this is basically on the number line but we come to the main part that's how to do the subtraction without the number line okay so let's take uh, a few examples right before we move on let's say i have plus three and minus two sorry minus here minus two solve this subtraction problem how do you do so there are a few steps first of all plus three you write that down right and then you see there is minus sign outside this minus 2 so inside of this bracket minus 2 will become plus 2 right so plus 3 and remember this minus will also change to plus so minus changes to plus the sign inside this bracket will change to so plus 2 clear so this is what this will give you plus 3 plus 2 that ad addition it is uh, so 3 plus 2 that's 5 simple thing if I change this sign, let me do plus 3 here. Here I will do minus and then in here I do plus 2. So what will happen? This is called inverse addition. Subtraction is inverse of addition only, right? So inverse of addition. That means the complete reverse this thing, right? See how plus 3 will remain as it is. Minus you will change to plus then this plus 2 sign will change why because there is minus outside plus 2 if if there is plus here then sign will not change just add you know addition okay so minus changes to plus this plus will change to minus and then 2 now addition you know you can add it here so this is plus 3 minus 2 that is plus 1 unlike terms subtract put sign of the greater number plus 3 so plus 1 here then and of course if this is plus suppose you have plus 3 and plus minus 2 so same thing this what you've got here same thing it is so nothing is required to make any change so these are the two circumstances whenever minus sign will be outside the bracket the sign of the number inside the bracket will change okay and whenever there will be plus sign outside the bracket sign of the number inside the bracket will remain the same and do the addition the same way and here also after changing the sign you'll get addition only so just do the addition here as well so basically it is subtraction but in the end we are doing addition and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye